Hello, hello. Thank you, Leisha, again. Uh, Leisha Ashford. Ashford. Uh, hey, mate, appreciate your upload, the upload and your opinion. Uh, very welcome. Very, very welcome. He goes on to say, uh, talking about um, Buff Doge, uh, Buff Dogecoin. Buff Doge? Yeah, Buff Dogecoin. It goes on to say, um, is V100 uh, in here in case it uh, goes up? And if it um, if it doesn't, you know, that's okay. Uh, it's more of a stable, sure asset as well. It's a gamble. And she'll be able to afford to lose if it does rug pull or gets pulled. Uh, it could be a really good investment. He goes on to say could be um, a thousand X and uh, as well as appreciate any more insights, info opinions you have. So thank you very much. Uh, first of all, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This is for interpreters only. So how do I, how do I find tokens? Me, you, you may ask him. This is my kind of like appreciate any more insight of info opinions you have. So here, here's like, my two cents based well okay so first of all i started doing this uh coin thing february last year february 24th to be exact actually i was watching a show a mcafee show and they mentioned they're talking about time travel where they go <laughs> where they asked these two guys pat and some other guy they're like if you were time travel, where would you go? Would you go back in time or forward in time? And one of the guys said he'd go forward in time. And so the consistency is like, okay, they go forward in time or whatever. And then they, and they started talking about Elon Musk. And then they said Elon tweeted about this thing called Dogecoin. Dogecoin? I was like, and I, I just had to hear it. Like, what is this Doge? And then and they said, yeah, it's go going up. It's, you know, increased or something. It's it's gone up like 20% or whatever it was. And I said, wow, what is that? What's Dogecoin? What is that? I don't know what that is. What is that? And, uh, <laughs> and, and so I immediately started looking for coins. Uh, I started looking, what is a Dogecoin? How do you? So the only thing I knew was the Bitcoin. Like, okay, how do you buy Bitcoin? I literally didn't know how to buy Bitcoin. So I Googled, how do you buy Bitcoin? And when I did that, it said, Go to an ATM. There's an ATM around. So I went to the ATM, and it was offline. It was down or something for maintenance. I was like, because it was one of these where you put the money in, and you get the, get like the Bitcoin or whatever. And I had no idea what any of this stuff was. I have no clue. So all I knew is you got, I, <laughs> in my mind, right, I thought there was like this little uh, coin, if you will, right? Because I had somebody talked about it before, and they showed me this coin. I was like, they go, what? I go, what's that? They said, that's a Bitcoin. I'm like, okay. No idea what it was. Anyway, but it's a piece of paper with a number on it. I had no idea. So, so I go to this ATM. It's, it's offline or whatever. And uh, do some research, Google some stuff. Just do a lot of homework, a lot of hours of homework. And long story short, I bought it with Robinhood. So I bought Dogecoin with Robinhood, like most people do. And then from there, you know, I did the other exchanges. Where I bought Dogecoin and Bitcoin and Ethereum. And then how I got into Safe Moon was uh, there was a show. It's called Living with Lucy. Living with Lucy? Yeah. And she's a YouTuber. And on one of her YouTube's YouTuber thing, some person's, you know, commented about Safe Moon. And, and then she just said the word Safe Moon. But she, want, I guess, one of the, Chat, uh, persons in the chat wanted her to talk about Safe Moon, and she said the word Safe Moon. I'm like, "What's Safe Moon? What is that?" And I started googling it. I'm like, "What is that?" Long story short, I bought some Safe Moon. Uh, you know, I bought a tablet and I bought some Safe Moon just for that reason. Like, okay, I got to get this. It, it was a difficult time. It was at the time. It was really difficult to get. And there was another YouTuber. I, I can't think of her name off the top of my head, but she's a British YouTuber, and she showed me how on her video how to actually buy safe moon you know through the app or whatever it's like or not the app but the uh the wallets i'm like wow that's really cool so kudos to her i can't think of her name top of my head uh but kudos to her for teaching me that okay so how i look at tokens 
I go, first of all, like I pick one. And okay, let's say it's Safe Link, whatever. And then I go and I say, do they have a community? Do they have a Reddit? And you, you may know this. They do have a Reddit. They have a Twitter. And I'll look at them and say, okay. I'll look at their website. And I'll just copy. I won't copy this because I've already copied it. I'm going to show you a different one. Anyway, so I go to their Twitter. And okay, they have 1.3 million. Go. That's great. I might look at some of the other posts. How recent is it? Okay, good. That's fine. All good. And I'll go to like the Reddit. They have a Reddit. Okay, how many people do they on the Reddit? Okay, good. Is it engaging? Yes, it is. Fine. I'll go to their website. I'll go to our team. I'm curious about who, do they have any team members? Is anybody there? They, are they real humans? Can I, you know, tweet them? They're real people. I'll say, yes, that is the case. I'll also say I was gonna do something. From, from here, I was going to do something. Oh, I know what it's going to do. So I'll go down and I'll look at their social profiles here. And I'll look, oh, they have a Discord. Good. I'll go to that. And I'll see if they have a Discord. And how many people are is at their Discord? Okay. Oh, nice. They have an invite safe in there. And, okay, good, 121,000, fantastic, good. Uh, you know, that's a good thing, good sign. So I'll, okay, happy with that. Okay. I'll look at their uh, BSC uh, scan. Okay, do they have a logo? Yes, they do. Good. Do they have a social um, profiles here? Yes, they do. The, the holders, is it under 10%? In this case, it is. It's, version two so it might be a little different i'll look at the contract i'll see you know in this case it's not but i'll look to see is it the ownership has the ownership been renounced or has it changed ownership and how do i find the owner i'll say okay I go to contract here i click on contract this is how i find the owner who the owner is and then i'll click on contract creator or the creator if you will put it that way put Contract creator, I'll click this. And then I'll say, okay, this address, how many tokens does this address have? In this case, they have like, what, 100 billion? There's a max supply of 1 trillion, right? So they have, they have a million, billion. So 103 billion. So they have roughly 10% according to this of that token. You know, safe food essentially ten percent, and so yeah, that would mean that oh, whoever the owner or the contract creator has ten percent of safe food essentially. So I'll look at that, and if I feel happy with it, great. If I don't, I'll say I'm good. You know, but everything has to factor in for me. You know, the team, the holders, the presence, the social media, Twitter, a lot of factors have to go in that. Also, if they have a Certic account, which is, close this, it open, a Certic, which is a, a security, it's like a, I guess they do security audits or whatever, and I'll look to see, do, are they in here? Let's pick one that's like Baby Doge. Let's click that one, for instance, right? Let's say that one. Yeah, let's click Baby Doge, for example. It's trending, right, 92, right? I'll look and I'll say, you know, token I want to buy, let's say. I'll say, okay, scroll down, okay. Um, those are, you know, good audits. Okay, looks looks fine, no critical, okay, fine. Um, looks okay. I'll look at, like, any of these other um, vulnerabilities, anything that catches my eye. I'll look down here and I'll say, like, their, their tweets. Their uh, followers, are they trending or are they not? What are the keywords? Look down a little further and I'll see the performance, you know, um, transactions, 24 hour transactions, active users, some of the charts that they have, uh, some of their liquidity pairs. So baby Dogecoin, uh, I'm sorry, BNB. What's it? Yeah, BNB. They're on a, they're on a pancake swap. I'll look at that um, top LP holders. So this would be like 
liquidity pool holders is what that stands for. And then top add liquidity. Who added it, I guess. Liquidity added it and then top removed. Who removed it? Nobody. So I also look at their holders. In Certic, right, of course. I look at so this tells you the percentage of holders, which is great. Now if I see over two hundred, which is really the most, yeah, this this is really good. Because that means most of the people who are who are investing who are holding this token are really, really about it. They really enjoy it because if it's like top heavy and you have like 90% up here over 200, that's a pretty good one. Let me just tell you, that's a pretty good one to get. That's going to be a real good one to get. Yeah, that's the case. And that's what I look at. I look at those. So on to like, how do you find out where it came from? You may say like, how do I find out liquidity pool where it came from? So you, you go to the token sniffer, and I'm just going to simulate like I'm going to token sniffer, like whatever coin. I'll look at it and say, when I go to token sniffer, and how do you go to token sniffer? You go your the address, copy the address, and you paste paste it here, and then you scroll down. You, it'll give you a score, like you know, 20 percent or whatever it is. Not all of them are 95. Just just to let you know, some are zero, some are 10, whatever. And then I look and see, okay, uh, buyer seller over 13 percent. Over 15, it's fine, you know, sometimes. Depends on what it is. Uh, no prior, usually I see that a lot. Um, these are the two ones I pay attention to. If these are like ownership has not renounced, then I'm like, okay, that's a little red flag for me. And then creator not authorized through special permissions, red flag. And uh, if I see these are, you know, red check, I might say that's a red flag. Now, in order to find out where it came from, I just click on this right here, the liquidity. And this is from Deep Lock. So I'll click on Deep Lock. And this is essentially where it came from. I'm not familiar with this, this, uh, what do you call it? This liquidity pool. I don't know where to click on to show you. Uh, but I do know um, there's uh, two other ones they're familiar with, which was Pink Sale. So Pink Sale.finance. This one is the one that Safe one came from, actually. Oh, no, it's not. DX is. But so Pink Sale. If you had a token, let's say, or if you're looking for a token for that matter, before it even launches, you come here and you go, uh, what is it? Home, launch pad, launch pad list, I think. Yeah, here we go. Current pre sale. Then I'll say, like, if I'm looking for a token before it even get listed on the exchanges, you know, coin market cap or coin gecko, I'll come here and I'll say, okay. I'll look and okay, upcoming liquidity time. You don't I, I I didn't know this before, but I know now. Liquidity time is good to have over six months. Really that's a good idea to have six months. Ever earn, like this is fill fill filled. Okay, 180 days. So yeah, pre sale can oh, canceled. Upcoming. I might look at something, a nice one, like filter by status. Uh, upcoming filled in progress. Uh, sort by hard cap liquidity percent start time. Yeah, liquidity percent. <laughs> Irish Shiba coin, nice. Yeah, look at this. How many days it has? That's amazing. Yeah, amazing. It's a lot of days. So I'll click on stuff like this, and I'll see. Okay, can I buy it, or do I want to buy it? I might look at. Uh. Okay, I'll click on this. Let's click on this one here. So I'll click on View Pool. And it'll give me details about this token, like their website, all their details, what it does. When the pre sale happens, starts in this time. Do I want to buy any? And if I wanted to buy any, all I do is click Connect here. And I would connect my wallet. And then I would buy whatever the minimum amount is, whatever the minimum amount is to buy in. Minimum buy is 0.1 BND. So I'd, I'd buy in there. And then I'd get my pre-sale token. Then I would uh, wait for it to go to launch, and then I would probably sell it or whatever, or keep it, whatever. However, the however they however you see fit to do it. You know more information about it down here. The other one, the other site is called uh, DX.app. Now this is where Safeun came from, just so you know, and a couple other ones that came from from here. So Safeun. Is a popular one it came from. Let's click on Safe Moon. Click it. Click it. 
on the left hand side here let's click dx launch and let's say dashboard and waiting for it to load oh yeah i remember last time this is very very um takes a long time to load so let's just pick one doesn't matter which one uh sales success let's click in this one meta viking casino right why not i understand of course yeah did i already say the the disclaimer i think i did well i'll say it again this is not financial advice i'm not a financial advisor this is a result all right so here would be something you look at okay for your new token you want to buy or let, let's say you look you're just looking around you're just looking how do i do it and you can decide <laughs> yeah it even has like the little details it'll give you like a token sniffer i think it'll be able to token sniff the coin before it comes out interesting yeah cool yeah cool neat the token address the pre-sale address it's going to be listed on pancake swap yeah kind of nice information liquidity unlock date which would be november so it's like 180 days six months something like that Eleven, a little more than six months yeah not audited these are the type of things to look for not audited you want to make sure it's audited or not it's up to you really it's up to you so this is how i look at coins uh one more thing right uh nomics this is another website sorry nomics is a is a site that uh similar to certic it, it ratings very similar it just and it just doesn't give you the other information that that certic does and i don't think this is an audit one here i think it's just like an a viewing a way to view it differently if you will the, the coin like the exchanges will tell you exchanges is on l bank pancake swap uh gate io bitmart um the different the volume 24 hour volume yeah a lot of cool information here on uh information on how this all works different uh you know socials that's good all this stuff like this maybe some of the markets it's in so pancake swap uh bitmart um xt pancake swap yeah and then the historical data when it came out uh what was the price all that stuff for version two in this case so these are the things i look at when i look for coins that's a lot that's a lot and imagine you have you, you can't you can't look at all of them when you could but that would be that would take you like several hours i mean you could have a team of people i guess look at every single token out there you could analyze every single token out there you could do that <laughs> but that would be like a whole week basically of just doing that you know analyzing every single token that's a lot of work uh, but it can be done because there's like 14,000 tokens or something like that. Yeah. So anyway, um, yeah. All right. Well, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.